And after being permitted to leave this morning, Fontaine made a statement to reporters describing his experience. He indicated that he had refused to answer questions. And I would retain my right to remain silent in the face of those ludicrous charges, some of which included, for example, that I, Thompson Fontaine, paid individuals to stone the buildings on Tuesday and to set fire to a building. Stuff like I was responsible for the truck or was inspiring the truck to go and block document the, um, the financial center. Charges that I find to be preposterous. I wasn't prepared to answer to any of those charges. I, I maintained my silence. The interview continued. At the end of the interview, um, I basically waited until I was told a few minutes ago that I was free to go. Fontaine informed that he will be speaking with his legal team to decide on a way forward. So what happens, without, so? without any charges. Well, I have to, in light of the severity of the accusations made against me, I must review my legal options. Because it cannot be that the government can tarnish your name, your good name, in the international community. It cannot be that uh, this government can accuse me of things that I know absolutely nothing about and not do anything about it. So I'm definitely going to look into what it means of my legal options as far as that is concerned. And CBN4, of course, will continue to follow this developing story.